Hello everybody and welcome. I logged in to check why one of my friend's services are not running and I came to find this message saying that my freeness uh, raid was degraded. So I started looking around and I could see that all our drives were listed there. And when I tried to see what was going on, I actually found out that it was showing that the hard drive, one of the hard drives was actually available, so somehow it lost the volume information or something like that. It was showing as, you know, a drive that had a freeness partition, but was not assigned to the RAID and I could actually reassign it if I wanted. I decided to do that, but at the end of the day, there must have been a reason why the hard drive was lost, so I'm actually going to replace it. And, well, let's take it from there and see what happens, yeah? So when you go and click replace, it's gonna actually show you that the disk is available, it shouldn't. Let's click replace and see what happens. What I get here is of course the information that the disk is in use. I don't know exactly what to do, but... Um, yeah, let's force it, it's broken anyway. So now all my disks are online, but this doesn't look good at all. So this is the hard drive I have. It's this Western Digital for Surveillance. It's the cheapest rated for 24 by 7 operation hard drive that they have. I wanted to buy the NAS one, but I'm low on funds, so I may later on just replace all the hard drives of the server. Or maybe even take some time to troubleshoot the other server, see why it is crashing every three months, and migrate everything there. Um, we will see, but for now, I cannot be running without this spare drive, so let's get this done. The pain of not having a screen connected to the computer, sometimes you just have no idea what's going on, so I'm gonna give it five minutes, in the meantime I brush my teeth, and I can proceed with the hard drive replacement. The drives are coming off. I think it's going to switch down. Yeah! Oh wow, it's incredible how much louder the old microservice com compared to the new. Maybe it's the hard drives, but should be motivation for me to replace it sometime. So well, let's take it out. Ironically, this drive is marked as reliable, durability, so not really. Okay, back we are. The system report status okay now. That's very odd. Let's go to our volumes. We have one available disk here. Okay, let's cancel this. View volumes. Locked. Do I know this? Yes. Okay. That doesn't look good. That doesn't look good at all. Um, Maybe if I get the disk, it's gonna allow me. Let's give it a try. I took a backup, so I'm not very worried about a failure. So let's see this. Uh, let's go to... Volumes. Volume to extend. Oh. Okay. It doesn't let me. Ah, okay, with my setup it works. So 
that you do that. Can you be done let me unlock the volume because I was missing a disc? Volume successfully added, so let's see what happens now. Unlock. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna have to Google that. Let's see. So I have not connected my whole hard drive to my shitty unreliable USB thing, connected to my UPS and to the server. Let's see what happens there at the web interface. Alright, so it took around 15 minutes to come back online. I still have my alert that the volume is degraded. What I want to do is assign the new disk to a volume. It's not it. Um, new volumes. Uh, volume status. Okay, I don't have the option here too. So it probably detected the new disk, the old disk, and now it's reshuffling the data around. Although this seems to be the USB drive, so I don't understand here what's going on. Let's try new volumes. Mm -hmm. After messing up a lot, I ended up with six hard drives connected to this machine. The old hard drive is shown as online, but it's not reliable at all. And I had to add a USB hard drive to be able to replace one of the spare volumes that I created by accident. So now what I'm going to do is be able to disable one of the spares and I should be able to leave with the four hard drive, the new one plus the three old ones, except the broken one, and the USB drive that I created to replace the spares. So let's see what happens. I'm going to give it a shot. Hello everybody. So now I have everything online and good. And unfortunately, now I need five disks in my array. I don't know how to you know, remove one or which one. Yes, so the USB one is, is a member and of the RAID, unfortunately. And one of these internal ones became, you know, uh, one of the spares and that's not really what I wanted, but I'm gonna leave it like this. The new hard drive is installed it seems to be working fine and I can see that my services are now available again which is great as I mentioned before I'm gonna take the chance and tomorrow work on not sure I'm gonna have time tomorrow but maybe the day after tomorrow I'm gonna have time to start migrating my services to the other server or maybe only next week and I don't know time is short lately